Hi, I need to return this horrible lipstick. Okay, was it used? No, 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 definitely, definitely not. I'm one of those girls that can tell how good a product is just based on the quality of the packaging. So no, I didn't open it, no, no. Okay, yeah, no, I'm just asking because the seal is like totally ripped off. Um, <laughs> really? Um, oh, <laughs> duh, I did try and open it. I totally forgot. I just looked inside and I just didn't like it. I didn't want to put it on my face, so I'm giving it back. So just to clarify, you didn't put on any of this bright blue lipstick today, right? Absolutely not. There is no way I would ever wear that color. Got it, no problem. I do just wanna ask if you're feeling all right. Maybe you need me to call like 911 or something because it looks like your lips have turned an electric blue. What? Oh, um, <laughs> this is just my natural look. <laughs> oh, okay, wow, that's such a crazy coincidence that you're returning this electric blue lipstick and your lips are naturally electric blue. Exactly, that's why I didn't want it. Your natural lip is coming off. Hi guys, my name is Sam. I'll be taking care of you this evening. Where's Stephanie? Oh, uh, you know, I don't think she's working tonight. What? How could that, how could that be? We only came here because we wanted to see Stephanie. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, when is she coming in? You know, I, I don't have that information. Well, can't you go look? Mm, no, I, I can't do that, but I'd be happy to take your drink order. Well, <sighs> Stephanie already knows our orders. Great, well, if you tell me what you'd like, I can make sure it's made the exact same way. I don't know, Stephanie just knows us so well. I don't know what you want me to do here. I guess we'll put in the drink order. Great, I'll take a water. Oh, okay, would you like a lemon? No. Okay, anything else I could get you started with? <clears throat> well, Stephanie usually already has bread at the table. Right, it'll be right out. Oh, and make sure to tell Mac I say hi. Who? Mac, he's working tonight, right? He's the one that makes our food. I'm sorry, I don't know anyone by that name that works in the kitchen. Well, we come every weekend. We get the same meal, same server, same table, but I don't remember ever seeing you. Likewise, I'll be back. See, this is why I only trust Stephanie. Okay, two waters with no lemon. Oh, everything okay? No, you put ice in it. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize you didn't want ice. Well, Stephanie knows. That's why we always go with Stephanie. Right, or you, you could have just told me. We'll just take our appetizers, thank you. Which appetizers? The crab cakes. Yeah, that's not on our menu. Yeah, I know that, we're aware of that, but Stephanie would always have them specially made for us. I, oh, what? And she always brings that little uh, dipping sauce. She does it every week. We don't even have the ingredients to make crab cakes. Well, maybe you can get Stephanie on the phone. I'm not calling her. Oh no, it's okay, she'll understand, she knows us. Well, maybe you can text her then. No, she said she has one of those new phones that doesn't allow you to add new contacts. <laughs> I don't blame her. You know what, I'm sorry, I, I think we'll just come back when Stephanie's here. Mm, oh no, are you sure? Bummer. Well, you let Stephanie know we stopped by. She's such a great server. You guys could learn a lot from her. Oh, I know, right, I know. You know, I bet she'd train you in her free time. She's so sweet. Well, thank you for the advice. You guys still doing okay over here? Um, yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, well, I mean, those kids over there have just been screaming and playing their iPad really loud this whole time, so it's been a bit disruptive. Oh yeah, you know, I'll ask them to turn it down a little bit. Okay, thank you. Hi guys, another sweet tea. Yeah, of course. And can I ask that you guys just turn the iPad volume down just a little bit? Yes. No! It's not that loud. Well, we just don't want it to disrupt any of our guests. So if you don't mind just turning it down or if you have headphones. Honey, do you have kids? Do I? No. Okay, so you have no idea what you're talking about. So how do you have the audacity to tell me what to do with my kid? No, 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 I'm not. I just, I want to make sure that everyone is having a pleasant experience in the restaurant. Oh, for the love of- Sparrow, turn down the volume. Sparrow! I said turn it up! Give it to me! Turn it down! No! Don't you tell no! me no! Give me the iPad! No! Stop! Leave me alone! You are not hey! getting this back until Stop! you eat your grilled cheese! No! I'm not eating it! Oh. Uh -huh. no! Now look what you did! You Do you think this situation is any better? I hate you! I just asked for the volume to be turned down. Well, now he's upset. I can see that. And hear that. Sparrow, honey, if you stop crying, I'll get you Wendy's on the No, 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 no. Or five guys, we can get you a milkshake. Cold stone! Once again, if you could just lower the volume. Well, what am I saying? Sparrow, just take the iPad and be quiet. Any other parenting advice? Um, no. no excuse me. Yes. You never got me a sweet tea. You guys never turned the volume down. Did you want to sit inside or outside? Definitely, definitely outside. Great, right this way. Whew, it's hot out here today. Yeah, I'll see if I can get someone to turn those fans on. No, no, it's okay. It'll totally mess up my hair. Okay, well, if you change your mind, just let me know. Oh my God, you think they'd have like AC vents out here or something. Hi guys, welcome in. Have you dined with us before? Lemonade. Oh, uh, great, and for you? Oh, and is there something that you could do about the bugs? Uh, what bugs? There's just like a fly that keeps coming around here every so often. Yeah, no, unfortunately there's not really much I can do. 
you have those bug zappers? Uh, we don't have anything like that, but I could put in a request maybe for the future to get something like that. Well, that doesn't help me right now, does it? I can move you inside. No, we want to sit outside. Did you want to start with any appetizers? Oh, something that's not hot. It's so hot out here. It is, and we do have plenty of seating inside. No, it's a nice day. I want to be able to enjoy the outdoors. Right, well, I will put in those drink orders. I'll be right back. Ow! Are you okay? Something buzzed near my face. I thought it was going to sting me. Okay, maybe use your menu to wave it away. Be right back. Do you know if it's supposed to rain today? Actually, I'm not sure. Because I thought it was supposed to be nice and cloudy. Uh, well, it doesn't look to be, but it's not enjoyable. <laughs> Do you want to move inside? No, that defeats the purpose of enjoying the outdoors. So is complaining about every aspect of the outdoors. As we all know, the Triwizard Tournament is approaching, but it has come to our attention that no Hogwarts students have put their name in the Goblet of Fire to participate. Not one. May I remind you all that this tournament only comes every five years. Five. So we were all so excited for you to be able to participate in something so special. But we have gone above and beyond for all of you. Professor Flitwick hasn't slept in a week. You know, you should all be embarrassed and disappointed for the way that you've represented our school. What happened? Why couldn't we participate? Yes. Um, well, my dad said he pays too much for this school and didn't think it was justified for you to ask us to risk our lives for a school okay. trophy. You know what? Now we have, hands down, we have been made aware of the rumors that have been circulating regarding the tournament. And I want to address those now because uh, we suspect that might be part of the reason that some of you didn't want to sign up. Firstly, <clears throat> There will be no inserting of any wands up or in anyone's body. I'm not sure where this paper <laughs> came from. This is very odd and that, come on, just use your brains, guys. Secondly, guys, we don't go through everyone's spell history on their wand, okay? I don't even have the technology to do that. And even if I did, I don't want to see what spells y'all are casting. Also, we are not administering drug tests to any of the players, okay? And it is disturbing to me how many of you are concerned with this rumor. While we are on the subject, may I remind all of you that Hogwarts is a substance-free school, which means I should not be finding anyone fermenting their own alcohol in their cauldrons. Okay, I know what witch's brew is, guys. We did it as kids too, okay? It ruins the cauldrons and you will be responsible for replacing them and I will send an owl home. Some prefects have reported students traveling down to the Chamber of Secrets to smoke gillyweed and others manipulating memory charms to try and hallucinate. Okay, I don't even know where you got this from. That doesn't work. You will fry your brains. I already know who it was. We're not talking about it. And to the group of boys that have been trying to convince the exchange students that the Sorcerer's Stone is buried at the base of the Whomping Willow, <laughs> please know that you are responsible for three students ending up in the hospital wing. And if their parents sue, we could lose this program. And stop telling the Bobatin girls that Professor Moody can see through their clothes. He cannot, <laughs> and that what? is disgusting. And ladies, this is your last reminder. Any robes that are cut higher than your knees will have you sent back to your dormitory and a note home. Let's have a little bit more pride in ourselves and our school. Some of you are six, seventh years. You should be setting the example for everyone else. You need to step it up. Okay, this is embarrassing. You're about to be adult wizards. I'm gonna give everyone a little bit of time, okay, to think about this. And I think in the meantime, we're gonna cancel your Yule Ball. <coughs> There's no one seems to be too upset about that. How about we cancel Quidditch? No, no. Oh, my God. no. I've already paid the oh, oh, I'm sorry. We cannot cancel Quidditch because you have already paid for it, but I will cancel something. Excuse me, I'm looking for the organic basil. Where is it? Oh, I'm not sure. That's not an acceptable answer. I don't I don't know what Go get your manager, pronto. I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry. I, saying I'm sorry means nothing to me because if you were sorry, you would actually do your job. Go get a manager. Okay, if you just follow me. But this isn't follow the leader. You don't need to treat me like I'm in elementary school, okay? Okay. I need you to go get it and bring it back to me. Now. Okay. <sighs> Where is this jagaloon? Excuse me. Oh, hey, Karen. What did you just call me? Oh, Karen. <laughs> now I really need to speak to a manager. For sure, let me know if you find one. That's it, I demand to know your full name. Now, Samantha. Mm -hmm. Samantha what? Uh, coat rack. And how do you spell that? I'm calling corporate. Sure, that's Z-Y-X. Mm-hmm. W-V-U-T-S-R-Q-P-O-N-M-L-K-J-I-H-G-F-E-D-C-B-A. Wait, slow down. My apologies. Z, Just stop, okay, excuse me, sir, are you a manager? Yes. 
<laughs> this woman call me the most racist, sexist, classist name that you could possibly call a white woman. Wait, who, what? She just called me a Karen because I'm a white woman with class. Okay, ma'am, I've never seen this woman before in my life. What, so you don't even know your employees? Karen, I don't work here. Of course you do. No, she definitely does not work here. So you just mess with me for fun? Yeah. <gasps> well, I'm calling the health department. Health, de why? For race, sexism, classism. Hi, are you gonna order? Uh, yeah, we're ready to put in our drink order. Okay. Uh, yeah, can I get an ice water? Are you sure? Uh, yes, I, I'm definitely sure. As cold as you can make it. Did you also want the check? Not yet, just the drink, please. Whatever. And that's it. Okay, I'll put in your order later. I'll do it now. <laughs> Maybe it's her first day or something. Okay, one ice water. Um, what is this? Water. Why did you give me this? It's hard as rock. It's ice. Yeah, but I can't even drink this. Is this a joke? It's what you ordered. I even wrote it down. Ice. Okay, you know what? It's after five anyway, so why don't you just bring me a margarita? A margaret Rita? No, a margarita? It's like your signature drink here. No, thank you. I don't even know you. I don't want your signature. That's, a, you, okay, just the classic margarita, please. Do you want it frozen? No, let's just not do that again. I'll do it on the rocks this time. Are you sure? Yes. Your order overwhelmed me. I need to go on break. Okay, am I being confusing? Because I feel like this is pretty straightforward. One Mary Garita on the rocks. You're fucking kidding me, right? Jokes are for clowns. There are literal rocks in my drink. It's what you ordered. I wrote it down. Where did you even get these from? They look like they still have dirt on them. My purse. I'm, I'm leaving. Don't forget to leave me a tip. <sighs> okay, my shift's over now. Goodbye. Man, it's busy on Tuesday. Finally, after asking for months, they put me on another shift. So I, oh, there's a family of four. Hi guys, welcome Hi. in. Hi, is it just the four of you tonight? Yep, four. Okay, do you want to take them? Oh, no, you can take them. I'm good. So you do anything this weekend? Uh, no, I'm probably just going to stay really? in. Really? Yeah, I just want a quiet weekend. Not even on Sunday? Bye guys, thanks so much for coming in. We'll see you next time. I love how serious you are about this job. So I had a question to ask you, and you can totally say no. Okay. But I know you're free this weekend, and I actually had to go to Mardi Gras. Oh. Um, I know it's not really Mardi Gras right now, but they're actually having like a fake Mardi Gras down in the basement of my best friend's um, old hotel building. Sounds really weird. So, Honestly, I don't think I could do it this weekend. Well, you said you were free all weekend, Yeah, right? I, well, I mean, I... So I figured, you know, you'd want the hours. Thanks. Have you taken your lunch yet? No, I was about to. Do you care if I take mine first? This week is just like the worst week for them to give me hours. And unfortunately, next week I'm going out of town. So what about Wednesday? Um, I guess I'll do it if Kylie can't. Okay, yeah, I'll go ask her. It's okay, I totally get it. Grace said that she could actually cover for me if you couldn't. So Grace, you got that right i don't know why they can't give equal hours they literally give all the guys all the hours and you you have like so many hours i don't even understand all right i'll let you take these people i'm gonna go to the bathroom i should have been a bartender they make way more money and it looks so much more fun oh my god how is it only six o'clock um, and you guys said that you had a reservation hi okay perfect What's up? Actually, I was going to let you know that I'm probably going to head out. Wait, you've only been here an hour. No, I know. It's just I've been feeling really, really gross. Like my stomach really, really hurts. And I think it's because I didn't get to eat my chicken tenders that I said I was going to eat that you didn't let me go have for Are lunch. Are you serious? Um, you're good with this weekend, right? Uh, Yeah, I guess. Okay, and probably I'll be back on Thursday. But if not, you can take that shift too, right? It's from 3 to 9. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I said I would do a double. <laughs> it's actually going to be 9 to 9. You're good with that, right? Thanks for covering me, girl. I love you. And you know I got you next time you need your shift covered. Actually, I'm trying to get somebody to take my birthday on the 15th. Um, it's the day after Valentine's Day. You know, day. actually, that's not a good day for me. You have you know, something? I'll have to get back with you, but, like, just text me. Oh, I don't think I have your number. Um, okay. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Mm-hmm. I am making us breakfast. Mm, I see that. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. All right. Did you sleep okay? Yeah, I slept fine. Did you sleep okay? I bet you did. Uh, yeah. What are you doing? Me? Oh, nothing. Yeah, no, I'm not doing anything. I just have a quick question, though. Um, who's Kristen? Kristen who? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> I don't know of anyone named Kristen. Oh, really? You don't know one Kristen? I think I went to middle school with one, but I haven't seen her. So oh, okay. Well, now the truth comes out. What does that mean? Well, in my dream last night, you left me for Kristen. Well, it was just a dream. 
Was it, was it just a dream? How convenient. I mean, I had a dream that I had a toothbrush stuck in the back of my throat, but that wasn't real. <laughs> well, I can make it real. <laughs> I can't tell if you're joking or not. Yeah, totally joking. <laughs> I knew it was just a dream. Okay, because you seemed really mad at first. Well, after all those awful things you said to me in my dream, I think you'd be a little mad too. <laughs> yeah, except for I didn't say those things. Well, you did and you didn't, right? No, but it, it like really wasn't because it was a dream. Mm-hmm. Are you really gonna be mad at me about something that I did in your dream? So you admit it? Admit what? That you wanted to leave me in my dream. Um, no? Hi, I'm looking to buy a dress. Fantastic, what is your price range? Yeah, I was thinking maybe like $200, $300, somewhere in between that. I have the perfect options for you. You wait here, I will be RB. <laughs> cool, I trust you. Okay, I am back with options. Oh, I really like this red one. That one, that one would be beautiful. Go try it on, go. Okay, um, wow, oh my God, I fell in love, I love it. Success. Um, how much was this one again? That one was marked down to, I believe, four. Four. 4D, like $40? 4D with another zero, four zero zero. That's so weird because I said I specifically didn't want to go anywhere near or above $300, but uh, yeah, no, this is out of my price range. Can I see something else in my price range, please? You know what? I have another option for you. I, I know, I know what to do, hold on. Okay, I trust you a little less this time. This is the one, you know, like try it on. I can't even let you walk out of this store without putting the shit on. How much does this cost? Just try it on, try it on. I can just look at the price tag. Well, I was gonna take a percentage off, so don't look at that. 1200 fucking dollars. Well, I was able to apply a discount of about 2% off, so it's gonna come down like a little, a little bit. A little bit as in like down to $200. Well, let me see if I can find you some other options. No, no, um, this has been a waste of time, thank you. I'm sorry, you're leaving? Yeah, yeah, you suck. <laughs> And have you dined with us before? No, this is our first time. Oh, well, welcome in. I can explain to you guys kind of how things work here. Wonderful, because we have no idea how this works. Well, here at the Bread Grill, we are best known for our breads and our grills. So I'm gonna go ahead and hand you our menu to flip through here. If you wanna go ahead and take a look at our entrees, my favorite is the fried bread. Oh, well, that is so convenient. We do like to keep it easy for you guys. Now, if you'd like to take a look at the top of your menu, you'll see our appetizers. My recommendation is the coleslaw bread as a shareable for the table. Coleslaw? That's so unique. Now here at the bread grill, we actually put in the order to the kitchen and then bring the food to you. Oh, wow. Well, we were voted best in town in 1801, so we do pride ourselves on that. Now let me go ahead and give you your silverware. Wow, they have silverware here. <laughs> you can always spot a first timer. You actually use that to eat your meal. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, well, if you guys need anything or have any questions, you can go ahead and flag me down. My name is Sam. I will personally come over and help you in any way I can. Oh, well, that is so easy. Thank you for explaining. Now, what happens at the end of the meal? Oh, great question. I'm glad you asked because we do it a little bit differently here. So once I bring you the bill, you'll go ahead and put down your method of payment. I will bring it to the register, process it, and bring it back to you. Makes sense, you guys got a good system. Thank you, and this might come as a bit of a surprise for our first timers, but we do bring complimentary bread to the table for you to enjoy. <gasps> and I will take your drink order. I have never experienced anything like this in my life. I'm picking up an order. Okay, what's the name? Uh, Jones. When did you place the order? Like an hour ago, the app says it's ready. Is there a different name it might've been put under? No. Okay, what did you order? Like a crap ton of pizzas. Sure, um, okay, well, I actually don't have any to-go orders with pizzas, so it might be possible you ordered at a different location. No, no, no I, this is the one off of 12th. No, that's the one by the mall that's like 30 minutes from here. Oh, okay. Yeah, so uh, if you place your order with them, unfortunately it's not here, but I can put in the order here. Well, can you just like transfer it? Uh, not really, but I can have the kitchen expedite your order, but I thought my order was ready. Right, but at the other location. How does it get here? The kitchen here can make it, I just have to put in the order. Right, but how is my mistake my problem though? Because if you want your food, that's how this works. How much longer do I have to wait? I could probably have it ready within the next 10 minutes. 10? I don't understand the point of the app then. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and call the other restaurant and cancel the order so they can refund you. Good, I shouldn't have to pay for this. Well, you will have to pay for this order, it's just you wouldn't have to pay twice. Why would I pay twice? You don't, It. you know what? I got it, I'll I'll deal with it. But I feel like this is more your mistake. I didn't make a mistake, you made a mistake. But I'd rather not pay. Do you guys need some help over here? Finally, we need a size eight. Yeah, uh, what shoe? I just told you, my son is trying on shoes, we need an eight. Okay, well, is it for the shoe that's on his feet or the one next to his feet or the ones that you're holding or the ones that are all over my floor? Obviously, he wants the ones that light up. Okay. <laughs> 
Excuse me, where are you going? You asked me to go get you a pair of shoes. No, I didn't. I asked you to look on the shelf and find the shoe that I'm looking for. Okay, no problem. Here are the shoes that you're looking for. <laughs> it's funny how you people put in such little effort and then expect tips. <laughs> we don't ask for tips. Well, good, because you're not getting one. <laughs> Let me know if you need anything else. What? Well, what's your rush? Where are you going? I'm gonna go help someone else now. I thought you were gonna help me get my son's shoes. I thought that I did. Okay, so when you argue with me, you're purchasing a one-way ticket to not getting a tip. We don't, you're not even allowed to give me tips, so that's not even a thing. My son needs a size eight. Please find that shoe. Sure, so if you actually just look at these numbers on the boxes here, you can just grab whichever one you want, okay? Are you scared you're gonna break a nail? Please grab it. I'd be happy to demonstrate so you can do it on your own next time. Oh wait, when was the last time you washed your hands? That Your hands are disgusting. I'm not purchasing anything that your dirty hands have touched. Right, well then I don't know what you want from me. Is it that hard to ask you to just do your job? <sighs> no, but if you don't mind, I'm gonna go do my job and help someone. Wait, wait, come back over here, now! Oh my god. Yes, my son threw up in those shoes over there. I need you to go clean them out. <sighs> he did what? He threw up in the shoes because they made him sick. Get out. So you're the new girl? I'm the what? The new server? Yes. Okay, great. Well, you're shadowing me today. Oh, okay, sorry, but no thank you. Cool. Well, the manager told me I have to show you around, so let's start in the back. I only go forward, not back. I'm at the back of the restaurant. Have you ever worked in a restaurant before? Um... Is that a no? <sighs> when do I get paid? Uh, when you clock in, which I haven't been able to show you how to do yet. What day? We get paid on Fridays. Okay, well, unfortunately, I won't be available. Great. Well, it goes directly to your bank account, so I, I don't know what you're talking about. I can do Saturday. Girl, I am not in charge of payroll. I'm just here to show you around today, so let's at least get you clocked in. I've got a clock. Thank you. Great. Well, I'm just going to clock in for you because this is weird. And what did you say your name was? Hello? Hi, how are you? Were you looking for something? My paycheck. Yeah, well, you're not going to get it because you haven't done anything yet. Thank you for coming in. Have a nice day. Whoa, okay. Well, how about I give you the menu to study and you can take this home and decide if you really want this job. Okay. I'll have the tacos. Are you really trying to put in an order? We don't even have tacos. With BBQ sauce, hold the second B. I'd also like my paycheck. Yeah, when was your next shift? Unfortunately, I quit yesterday. Happy New Year. Happy... what? We'd like a booth. Okay, we actually have a wait of about 40 to 60 minutes right now. Oh, you guys are busy. Yeah, it's always like this on Saturday night. Did you want me to put your name down? Oh, no, 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 it's okay. This is actually my mother's first time. Oh, well, welcome. Yeah, we thought we'd just sit down, get some drinks, just kind of see what this place is all about. Great, well, I can put you guys down. Oh, no, no, this is our first time here. We don't, we don't even know if we like this place or if we'd want to wait for it. Okay, did you want some menus? Well, yeah, once we sit at our table. Okay, can I get a name? <laughs> What? They don't need a name. We just want to experience the place and sit down. Right, yeah, no, I can't do that. We actually have a lot of people waiting, so. Yeah, but they've all eaten here before. I don't know that to be true, and I don't even know the relevance of that. Mom, do you want a booth? Yes. Okay, inside or out? Under. Okay, we'll take an outside booth. Okay, uh, we don't even offer that. <laughs> okay. I'm a restaurant owner myself, and, you know, as first-timers, we'd kind of expect to have a grand experience, so you'd want us to come back. <laughs> Mmm, what's your restaurant? Oh, it's the Grubopotamus Grill right off the causeway. Oh, never heard of it. Probably because you spend your life on waiting lists. I'm not on a waiting list. You are. Uh, well, take my name off because I'm not eating here. No, sorry, I can't take it off. I'll call your name in 45 minutes. <gasps> what have I done? You dumbass! Did you not see my big white Suburban driving right at you? <laughs> Are you joking? You just came flying around the corner in a parking lot! I eat entitled bitches like you for breakfast, so have a good one! Wow, real nice talking like that in front of your kids in the backseat. I'm sure they've learned a lot from you. <laughs> nice try. They can't hear me because they're listening to Kids Bop. Just drive away from me, please. I'm done with this conversation. Oh my god. No, after this, I think I'll park my car right behind yours. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> Hey, good morning. Sorry I'm late. I just had the weirdest experience with this crazy woman in the parking lot. Anyway, uh, what time is my interview coming in this morning? Uh, she should be here any minute. Perfect. Just let me know when she's here. Oh, it looks like she's actually walking in right now. Hi there. I had an interview for the receptionist position this morning. Okay, and the owner is actually here this morning, so she'll be sitting in on your interview. 
Hi. Hi, you look familiar. We're already a little behind. Let's go ahead and start the interview. Okay, uh, was there gonna be someone else that's gonna sit in with us? No, I don't wanna bother them. It's just you and me. What a nice office you have. So much wood. Yes, have a seat. Let's get started. What's your name? Oh, okay. Uh, well, my name is Mary Elizabeth Sylvester Stallone, but you can call me Mary Elizabeth SS or M-E-S-S. Oh, I guess. <laughs> so you're telling me your name is Mess? Oh wait, no. Sorry, I was just trying to be creative. <laughs> Next question. Let's say you got into a disagreement with a customer or a coworker, for example. How would you respond? Yeah, so I would be very calm and... <coughs> oh, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Listen, I feel like you're not taking this interview very seriously. Okay, yep, yeah, valid. You almost killed me though. <laughs> oh my god, it was an accident. Well, you see, the only reason I'd hire you is just to fire you, and that's a lot of paperwork. This is a reenactment of a really rude woman at the nail salon yesterday. Also, aren't they cute? So I walked in and this is already going on. I want to come in at 6.30 p.m. You know what? That actually won't work because we close at 6. Could you come in at like 5.30? Absolutely not because I close at 6 at my shop over there. So I wouldn't be able to get here until after 6. So, okay, gotcha. Well, we're really slow on Tuesdays and it looks like my last appointment's at 3 o'clock. So I can't have any of my employees sitting around for three hours. Yeah, but I don't close until 6. So how am I supposed to get here at 5.30? That makes no sense. I don't understand. No, sure. That's fair. That's fine. Uh, could I help you with anything else? I mean, I just don't understand what I'm supposed to do. I need a 6.30 appointment. I can't get here till 6.30, 6.30, 6.30. Like the 8 a.m. girl, I swear to God. I hear you. The numbers are registering. They just aren't available. So I cannot hold on. My phone is literally ringing during this conversation and I'm going to answer it. Hello, unless you can come in at 5.30, we're not going to, we're not going to make this work. So yes, this is very important information. What? I didn't catch that because I'm on the phone. It's 5.30 or nothing, girl. Oh my gosh. I, this is, I'm pissed and I'm going to storm out. <laughs> and meanwhile, I'm just standing here like, I'm a way better customer than you. <laughs> I get an A plus, you lose. This is crazy. I'm about to block him. Wait, what's wrong? What happened? I just had my heart broken, okay? Me and Brad broke up. Oh. I know. Oh. What happened? No, wait, no, no, like, tell me. Did you do it? He did it? Walk me through this. What happened? He got really mad at me because I texted him two times in a row. I feel like you were too good. What? I'm sorry. But it's like, it's over, right? It's like over. Literally from the beginning, I was so confused why you were with him. Like, I was like, what the fuck? I mean, that's kind of inconsiderate because you remember he saved me from that car accident when I drove off the bridge that one yeah, time? No, like, right. he saved my life. So, I mean, he's basically my hero. I get it. I feel I like you're it. laughing. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm trying not to smile. It's just, I feel, I'm just, like relieved for you, right? Like, this is a good thing. Good. What? Sam? No, this ruined my life. I'm just trying to be positive. Oh, well, don't pretend like you no. haven't always hated him. No. Remember in gym class when he was trying to bulk up and you told him he looked like a swollen squirrel? No. He had nightmares about that, that for was, weeks, uh, okay? Like, just because was, of you. You're, you're saying that out of context. <laughs> <laughs> I just miss him, okay? Okay. People come and go. What? Right? He told me it would be forever. Wait, 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 wait. He just texted me and said everything's fine. Oh, oh good. It was a big misunderstanding. Thank God. I'm just so happy right now. I can't really? believe he's taking me back. See, I told you not to worry. No, you're right. Sam, why do you look mad? No, I'm I'm like, I'm just, there's a lot of emotions that just happened all at once. So I'm just, I don't know how to feel. Well, I'm happy. Um, don't you feel happy? I'm happy to get food. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I meant though, right? So we're cutting your hair today? Yes, definitely. Awesome. Do you know how you want to cut um, it? I was thinking uh, just a trim. Really? Should okay. I don't really need to do a whole thing. I'm sick of the red. I was thinking we could just transition to like a pink. I feel like that would be easy. Uh, yeah, we could always do color. Cool. I actually have a few options that I wanted to show okay, you. Okay, this is more of a peach. I yeah, don't but know. I mean like, now that I'm looking at it, I saw this picture of a girl that had like super short hair. Wait, wait, wait. I thought you just wanted a trim today. I know. What if I did like this shade of pink with orange mixed in? You're adding more color? Would that be like hard to maintain? I mean, yeah. I mean, we could just do it anyway though, right? You're annoying. What if I did bangs? I did love being blonde. I could always do blonde. Okay, stop. Let's just go with what you originally wanted. Oh, yeah, no, let's just stick to what I said. Sorry. No, no it's I, okay. I get all distracted. Yeah, no, let's just do the short blue. Okay. Wait, I thought we were doing a trim with pink color. Oh, well, I... Oh, yeah, no, I did say pink. Okay, yeah, let's just do pink. <laughs> okay, are you sure that's what you want? I definitely don't know. I definitely know I want to do... I want to do something. This one's kind of cool. Girl, that's exactly what you have now. Oh, yeah. Actually, I was just thinking, I'm going to have to dye it black anyway for a wedding I have next month. So whatever we do now is going to be a total waste of time. So we might as well just do something fun. <gasps> we should do presents. Okay, I just, oh. I don't have time for that today. No, that's, fair. I... that's fair. Just do whatever you want. Girl, no, no. What do you want? Um, can I, can I just be honest? Oh, God. I can't make up my mind. And colors are too exciting and fun to not be able to play with, so... <laughs> Unfortunately, we are out of chicken for this evening, so some of the items on the menu might be unavailable, but we can make anything else. Oh, that's no problem. Wonderful, what can I get you? 
a double chicken sandwich. Uh, actually, that's one of the items that we don't have available for this evening. Oh, uh, okay, then I'll have the uh, grilled chicken with rice. Yeah, no, once again, that's um, ch chicken. <laughs> you don't have that either? It's just the chicken that we don't have. Everything else we have, just not chicken. Could I just like add chicken to a pasta? I could do any pasta with shrimp, just no chicken. Well, what else do you guys have? Every single item on this side of the menu we have available. It's just this one category we don't have. <sighs> okay, uh, I'm just gonna do an appetizer. Yeah, absolutely. I think I'll do the wings. That's chicken. That's fine, I'll just do boneless. That wasn't part of the issue with that. I thought you said most items were available. The wings are the only chicken-based appetizer we literally have. Everything else, everything else is available. All right, I guess I'll just have a salad. Okay, great. I'll do a Caesar. I, I can do that. Oh, wait. Can I do that with grilled chicken? Uh, okay. Guys, seriously, be quiet. I have a soccer tournament in the morning and I need to go to sleep. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Seriously, shut up. Who was that? Okay, no, no, no. Seriously, sorry, sorry, sorry. We're, sorry, we're going okay. to sleep now. For, no, for, you're right. For, okay. for, Shh. Everybody. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> shut up, shut up. Shh, pretend you're asleep, pretend you're asleep. Guys, come on, please. This is why my mom never lets me come over here. You guys always do this to me, and I can never get any sleep, and I'm always grumpy the next morning, and she gets mad at me. You guys are just being so rude. Jessica, why did you even come to the sleepover if you're just gonna be pissed the whole time? <laughs> it's not funny, Savannah. Oh, she's mad. I'm having my mom pick me up. I hate you guys. I'm never, hang I'm never hanging out with you again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my mom wants to talk to your mom. Girl, what? It's two in the morning. Go to sleep, Jessica. So we need two manicures and Lily John, baby, did you want your toes done too? No. Uh, sweetheart, remember we talked about wanting to put more effort into our appearance, so that means we need to do this. Two pedicures. <sighs> okay. Okay, so two manicures and two pedicures? Mom, can I get mine done too? He's joking. Um, Amberjack, I asked you to go sit over there quietly and play your game. This is only for girls. Okay, sorry. I'm not joking. I want them to be black like Venom. <laughs> Boys, am I right? Okay. Sweetheart, we talked about this. We do not want to give off the wrong kind of vibe. Go sit down over there. Okay, no problem. We can get you in in like 40 minutes. Oh, we don't want to wait. Since we're already here, we'd rather just get them done now. I'm sure, but all of our technicians are busy right now. Oh, I'm sure you can just squeeze us in. Okay, ma'am, there's literally no room for you right now, but if you come back in 40 minutes, we'll definitely- The salon I always go to is always able to fit us in. Okay. So, so you could go there. Beg pardon? I mean, if they have the availability, it might be a better option. Is it because I have children with me? I'm a mother? What, what is it? No, it's because there's not one physical seat available for you nor your children right now. Well, that woman doesn't look like she's doing anything. Right, because she's on her 15 minute break. So she's allowed to be on a break when there are needy customers. Yes. Wrong answer. Excuse me, ma'am, yes. No, 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 take the headphones out. I need you to start working on me and my daughter's nails and do your job, break's over. Ignore her, in fact, turn your volume up. Real nice, now I'm not surprised why you only have four stars on Googles. Okay, okay, well, I guess you're gonna lose our business. So did you want me to take you off the list or were you gonna come back in 40 minutes? What are we doing here? Yes, but I want them done now, not in 40 minutes. Mom, look, I colored Amberjack's nails with a Sharpie. What? Oh my God! Did you still want me to give you bangs after this? Yeah, I mean, mine as well, right? Cool, I'll get the dye. Girls, <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just doing Kendall's hair. Right, okay, does Kendall's mom know that we're dyeing her hair? Yeah, it's fine, she doesn't care. Okay, why are we doing this in the bedroom? There's better lighting in here. Okay, but I don't want you getting it all over the carpet. Don't worry, I put an old towel down. Uh, that's our dining room tablecloth. Mom, I know what I'm doing. Okay, are you sure? Because you're not even wearing gloves. It's fine, I do it at every sleepover. Oh, why? I don't know. Can we also bleach the top? No, 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 we're, we're not doing bleach. We already have too many toxic fumes in this room. People do it all the time, it's not dangerous. Okay, but this is my house. Okay, thanks, mom. Let's just wrap it up, okay? I don't want you guys making a mess in here. We won't. Thank you. <coughs> you didn't want to tell her that we're gonna dye your hair next? Nah. Excuse me, hi. I had a flight that was supposed to leave at 7.51, but it's not at the gate. Oh, well, it is currently 9.07, so... It looks like you missed it. Okay, but I, I was supposed to be on that flight, so I don't, I don't, is it normal for you to just abandon your clients? Hmm, well, it does look like we tried to contact you several times. Would you like me to replace your ticket for the same destination? Well, after this, I don't know if I still wanna go. Oh, okay, no problem. I can go ahead and cancel that. Well, maybe I wanna go somewhere else now. Oh, no problem. Where would you like? I wanna go somewhere better. I wanna go to the Grand Canyon. Okay, yeah, I can definitely uh, switch your ticket to Arizona. I didn't say Arizona, I said the Grand Canyon. 
Yes, of course, but you do have to still fly to an airport in Arizona. You can't just fly directly to the Grand Canyon. Okay, whatever. Okay, and it looks like there will be an increase to the price. We're just exchanging tickets here. It shouldn't cost me a dime. Well, I could have exchanged the original ticket, but then you- Well, when's the next flight to Margaritaville? I'll just go there. That, you know what? It's leaving right now. Let me get you on that flight. Oh, excuse me, the end of the line is actually way back there. Oh, I know, I just don't have time for that long line. I just have to ask a quick question. I'll be really fast. Oh, no, I'm sorry, that's not how this works. Oh, well, you see, I'm in a hurry, so... Okay, and I get that, I was also in a hurry, but I had to wait in this line, so you're gonna have to do the same thing. <laughs> you're not gonna do me a favor? No, I don't even know you. Well, haven't you heard of a random act of kindness? Yeah, but if it's being demanded, it's not very random. Well, it won't kill you to help out a stranger now, will it? So if you'll just let me be. Okay, but it's not just affecting me. It's affecting every single person in this line that's been waiting. The answer is no. Okay, well, I don't have time for that. And I don't have time for this. <laughs> Do you even know what it's like to have arthritis? What? Exactly. You should really consider what other people are going through before you're rude to them. Okay, I'm gonna say this once. I have very hot coffee and I'm not afraid to use it. Why are you personally attacking me? Hey, what are you doing in the afternoon? Like this afternoon? I have to work. What? What time do you have to work? I'm scheduled for about four to midnight. Okay, so you need to call and tell them that you're not coming. Why? Uh, because I haven't seen you in so long and I want to go out tonight. Girl, it's a Thursday night. I know, we should go to World of Beer. Yeah, sorry, I can't, but I can go Friday or anytime this weekend. No, come on, it's just easier for me to do things spontaneously, so I just want to go now. I'm so sorry, I just can't take off work. But you're always working. <laughs> yeah, girl, I'm trying to pay off my student loans. Ew, well, why can't you just, like, ask your dad for help? My dad is dead. I just haven't seen you in a really long time. I just want to make some time to see you is all. Yeah, then let's pick a day that we're both available. Girl, just use your PTO. Uh, yeah, no offense. I just feel like this isn't the sort of thing I'd want to use my PTO on. I'm trying to save it. I mean, like, but how are you going to expect to have friends if you're never available to hang out with anyone? I'm available on the weekends. Are you not working? No. Okay, well, I have to, so... Oh my god, whatever, you're so lame. Nice talking to you. Hi, ma'am, did you have an appointment? Yes, of course I have an appointment. It's not till two. I am a little bit early. I was just hoping you might be able to squeeze me in sooner. Two o'clock, okay. It is currently 8 a.m. and we're actually very booked today, so I don't believe there's gonna be any time to just squeeze you in before your appointment. Uh, they did it for me last time. Okay, and it is a new day, and on this day, we are not able to do that. <laughs> Whatever. I'm gonna be waiting over there, and when a spot inevitably opens up, I'll be ready for it, so you better call my name first. <laughs> oh, great, okay. Can't wait to deal with that all day. I can take who's next. Hi, I have an appointment for 8 a.m. Okay, perfect. I just need you to sign in right here and then I can go ahead and get you back. Beep beep, rewind, uh-uh, I was here first. Yes, and if this were a first come first serve scenario, I would congratulate you. I'd give you a high five if that's what you wanted, but it's not, it's by appointment. Your appointment's for two and it's 8 a.m. Well, it's not my fault others haven't exposed themselves to time management. And it's not my fault you have nothing better to do than hang out at the doctor's office. I'll strangle you. Did you find everything you were looking for? Yeah, I think so. Did you need me to get that tag off your shirt? Uh, n uh no. Okay, um, uh, are you sure though? Because our alarms are, are definitely gonna make that go off. Actually, uh, it's just a pin. Wow, no way, I totally believe you. It's crazy though, because it looks just like our security tags. Oh uh, yeah, no, this this is my shirt. Okay, we're doing this. Uh, your total is $40. Great, here's my money, goodbye. Yeah, uh-huh, I'll see you soon. Okay, wait, what? I just checked out here. You know I'm good, right? I can I can go. Oh, sorry, the policy says I have to double check. You know, I can't, I, I'm in a rush. I gotta get out of here. So if the system goes off, it's probably because of you, not me. It's probably the security tag on your shirt. Uh, actually, that's impossible. Mm -mm. Okay, well, good luck this time. What was the deal with that lady? Oh, she's trying to steal that shirt. Are you gonna try and stop her? What the hell am I gonna, no. What? You should do something. I asked if she wanted me to ring it up. She said no. Hi, did you find everything okay today? Sweetheart, I just waited seven and a half minutes in that line. Yeah, this line's been pretty long all day, but you know, we've been trying to move- Wait, I don't want those two things in the same bag together. I need you to separate them. <sighs> okay, not a problem. Oh, and I have a 20% coupon for one of those uh, stores down the road, but you guys will take that, right? No, if it's from a different store, we don't take that. <laughs> anyway, your total is going to be ninety fifty five. Did you say nineteen fifty five? Oh no no no! I said ninety fifty five, like on the screen. Oh no, that can't be right. The computer is correct, so. Um, well, your prices here are absolutely horrendous, and I don't know why I come. 
So your total today is going to be 90.55. Oh, well, here's that coupon. Ma'am, this is a blue cloth. This is why your line is so long. Hey, can I see your dogs for adoption? Of course. What kind of dog are you looking for? I saw you guys had pit bulls on your website, so we can start there. Oh, well, can I interest you in one of our golden retrievers? Oh, well, I love golden retrievers, but I really want to start with the pit bulls. Can I ask why you're interested specifically in pit bulls? Oh, well, I know that pit bulls often have a harder time getting adopted because of their breed, so if I can help them out in any way I can, I would love to. Right, of course, but uh, you know, all dogs struggle to get adopted. Oh, absolutely. I just know this one particular breed has an extra hard time getting adopted because of unfortunate misconceptions spread by the human race. <laughs> mm hmm Well, don't you think it's unfair to, you know, the other dogs? I mean, look, someone's already looking at that golden retriever you tried to sell me on, so I think they'll be okay. Well, I just want to make sure we're supporting all dogs. You don't seem very supportive of pit bulls. <laughs> you are in big trouble, ma'am. Hey, I just got a call from the school saying my daughter was in trouble. What, what's going on? Yes, please sit down. We had someone vandalize our school last night, and we have reason to believe that Samantha knows who did it, but she's refusing to give us names. Okay, and what's the issue? Well, the problem is is she's withholding important information that we need. Okay, but snitches get stitches. I mean, what? Oh, snitches get stitches. Ma'am, you realize if your daughter doesn't give up this information, she is facing expulsion like the other kids, right? Wow. All right, go clean out your locker. You would seriously let her get kicked out of school before just giving us a few names? Snitches get stitches, okay? So there's no learning going on here? She's just gonna get away with it? Oh no, I've learned. Snitches get stitches. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> right. Have you called my name yet? What was the name? I know, and then I got scoliosis all over my legs. Do you remember that? <laughs> what a nightmare. One second. Okay. I know. I No, sadly, it's incurable. No. 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 Hi, there's two of us. Oh, excuse me, I was actually right here. Oh, good God. Oh, I didn't realize you were in line. One second, I'm just waiting to find out if you've called my name. Right, and I'm just waiting for you to tell me your name. Tori, I told you this. Did you? Must have missed it. Uh, nope, we haven't called your name yet, but we will soon. But he was only suspended four times. I don't see what the problem is. What? I said we haven't called you yet. Well, do you know about how much longer? No, no, I'm not talking to you. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, how is she? I haven't seen her since she died. Do you mind moving aside so I can help the woman behind you? We'll be calling your name shortly. Just make sure you're listening. What? I need you to move. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm just waiting for a table. Yeah, no, I got that. Did you call my name? Oh, suddenly Tori is off the list. Excuse me? Since you ladies can't seem to stop talking in my classroom, you both owe me a hundred sentences due tomorrow. <laughs> what? Yep, a hundred sentences due tomorrow on my desk saying I will not speak in my teacher's classroom ever again. Right, and has this method helped in decreasing problem behaviors for students in your classroom? Excuse me? Well, I'm just saying if you want to implement an effective punishment procedure, it should probably be more relevant to the problem behavior. I'm not really sure how writing sentences will help me stop speaking in your classroom in the future. Teachers have been using this method for years. It's very successful. Well, history also shows that educators used to use corporal punishment and they would throw any student with special needs into an asylum. You're lucky you're not my child. I would have spanked you already. Oh, well, my mother doesn't put her hands on me in order to alter my behavior. She just speaks to me. Oh, excuse me, pardon me. I'm a nurse. I gotta get to the front. Hi, can I place an order to go pronto? Yeah, of course, but our line actually starts all the way back there, so I'll get to you after all these people. Oh, no, no, no. See, I'm a nurse, so my orders usually get, you know, expedited. Oh, I'm sorry. We don't do that here. Oh, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm a nurse, so maybe, you know, write that down somewhere so you don't forget. I need a large coffee to go now. Okay, we don't do that here, so you're gonna have to get to the back of the line. Are you not hearing me? I'm a medical staff. Okay, I got it. You're a nurse. I heard you, but you still have to wait your turn like everyone else. I can't wait in this long line. I gotta get to my job at the hospital where I'm a nurse and I save lives. If someone dies, it's gonna be on you. Huh, I'm sorry. I guess next time you better get here earlier. <sighs> Would you say that to a doctor? Yes. <sighs> Would you say that to a police officer? Still yes. <sighs> you... So, I need a large coffee to go, so... Do you realize four more people already got in line? And for the name, you can put nurse. I think everyone will know it's my order. A party of ten? Okay, it looks like we can seat you in about 45 minutes. Oh, no, no. I see an open table right there. We'll take that one. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That table's not available. Oh, it's okay. There's no one sitting over there, and we don't want to wait 45 minutes. Are you guys ready? No, no, I'm sorry. That table's actually been reserved for a party that put in their reservation a few weeks ago. 
well, they're not here and we are, so what's the issue? There is no issue. That table is unavailable and our wait time is 45 minutes. <laughs> you don't get to tell us where we can and cannot sit. That's not how this works here. No, that's exactly how it works. I'm the hostess of this restaurant. <laughs> don't you just greet people? Do you mind stepping aside? There's people trying to get to the front here. Yes, party of two? No problem, come with me. Excuse, oh, uh, wait, wait. You're still here? You had the audacity to sit them before us and make us wait 45 minutes? You know what? I think I made a mistake. Huh, no kidding. I'm so sorry, the wait is actually an hour and 45 minutes. I'll be posting on Yelp about this. Well, it's about time someone showed up here. Oh, yeah, sorry, we don't actually open for another half hour. Oh, it's okay, you're here, I'm here, just let me in. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't let you in yet. I gotta open some things in there, like the register, and then I gotta- Oh, well, you don't have to worry about me. I actually see what I want right there, so I'm just gonna grab it if you'll just excuse me. No, ma'am, the store is closed. You may not enter, period. <sighs> I don't get it. You just get to decide who comes into your store? <sighs> no, not at all. Well, then how come you can go in and I can't? Because I own it. <laughs> and very much like owning a home, you get to choose how it operates. Get it? Well, then I guess you can let the police know why you're discriminating against me. I mean, yeah, I'd be happy to let them know you tried to push your way into a store that's not open yet. Hi, yes, I'm calling on behalf of civil rights. Oh my god, put it on speaker, I gotta hear this. Ugh, that's a HIPAA violation. You know, since I'm the owner, I just decided I'm not gonna open at all today, so good luck with that phone call. Oh, she's such a mess. Oh, hi there, are you ready to check out? Oh, I don't care, I don't trust her. Oh, okay. No, don't even invite her, we don't need drama. Right, your total is going to be 4567 today. Well, you heard she has two boyfriends, right? Um, is that going to be cash or card? And they were roommates. What? Here. Oh, um, no, I'm sorry. I can't go through your stuff, but if you want me to just cancel the transaction. Hold on, hold on. Let me call you back. This girl can't figure her shit out. I'm sorry. What's the problem? I just can't go through your wallet, but your total is 4567 if you're ready to pay. Ugh, let me see. I can't find my card. Oh, no problem. Take your time. Did you take it? I did not. Well, it was in here earlier and you were the last person that had it. Yep, and I gave it right back to you. I didn't even touch the zipper. I don't think you're being entirely honest with me, young lady. I think you're trying to take advantage while I was on an important phone call. Hmm. Can I go on break? Oh, Sam, after this customer, you can take a break. Oh, thank God. Hello, how can I help you today? Oh, hi, sweetie. What's your name? I'm Sam. Scrooge? What? No, it's, it, it doesn't matter, honestly. What can I get for you today? Oh, now don't get upset over little old me. I'm new here. I've never been here before, so I just wanted to get to know you. You've been working here a while? No. What can I get for you today? You know, you look about to be my grandson's age. Maybe you know him. Bartholomew Hiccupson? No. What can I get for you today? Well, don't rush me now. Okay, let me see. Oh, what's a strawberry parfait? Oh, well, if you need a minute, I can give you some extra time with the menu. Now, Soup, were you born here? No, I'm just here for college. Ma'am, are you going to order- Oh, what college? My grandson, Bartholomew Hiccupson, he also goes to school. Maybe you know him. <laughs> Skink, you seem like an intelligent young lady. Why do you work here? I genuinely don't know. Oh, shiitakes. I forgot my wallet in the car. I'll be right back, okay? I got a whole line of people waiting. I, I can't just hold your- No, no, I'll be right back. Just two minutes. Two minutes, everyone. Okay, wait. No, no, ma'am. <sighs> oh, seriously? I don't have time to wait on this woman. I know, I'm sorry. If she didn't have so many things, I would just cancel it. I mean, who cares? She's the one that didn't have her stuff. We're all ready to go. Why should we have to wait on her? Yeah, I don't see her coming. I'm just going to cancel it. Is this going to be it for you? All right, $2.95. Go ahead and swipe. All right, have a good one. I'll take who's next. Oh, excuse me. I am back. Sorry about that. Okay, ma'am, let me just finish checking out these people and then I'll get with you, okay? No, no, no. Remember, I was just here. I needed you to wait for me. Yep, and I had a really busy line and I had to get all these people through, so if you want to get behind them. It's not like I'm trying to skip the line, I just forgot my card. Yes, but everyone else in line was prepared and you were not. Back when this place first opened, this would never happen. Oh, perfect, thank you. And your name is Sam, right? Oh, yeah. I do this thing every week called the Venmo Challenge where tons of people will send in money and then vote for the most hardworking employee. And you won this week, so this is a thousand dollar tip to say thank you. Are you serious? I don't even know what to say. Wait, what's going on? What'd you get? It's just a little something to recognize all of her hard work here. Okay, and this money is to be split among everyone working tonight, right? Oh, no, I'm sorry. This is just for her. We actually had people vote in and- Whoa, 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 okay? I'm also struggling. Yes, ma'am, a lot of people are. That's why we're trying to rec- Beep? Absolutely not. I am a mother of six, so any argument you are coming up with is invalid. I am automatically more deserving than a single student, okay? I am a mother of six. Well, ma'am, you chose to have that many children. Doesn't matter. What about me? Well, cross your fingers, they'll vote you in next time. I can see why they haven't yet. 
Sam, I really think you should give that cash to the person it belongs to. Oh, thank you for admitting. I should keep it. I need a new room as soon as possible because mine smells like cat pee. Oh, I'm so sorry. What room? Room 112. I would like myself and all of my personable belongings escorted out of the room, but do not touch anything. Yeah, no problem. I'm so sorry. The room was cleaned before you came in, so I just don't understand. <sighs> yep, this is an embarrassment. I did Facebook Live everything, so all of Rhode Island did hear about this. Okay, so I do have a room available. Um, it looks like it's on the floor right above you. Sorry, I'm hearing things. Um, perfect. <clears throat> Weird question, do you have a cat? Uh, yes. I see, okay. Ma'am, we do not allow pets at our hotel. Well, that's ridiculous, why not? Well, we wouldn't want the rooms to smell like cat pee. Well, that chick's got her dog over there. Uh, well, you see, that's a service animal, so that's not just her pet. Okay, so just because her dog was in the military means it gets special treatment? No, it didn't serve in the military, it's a service animal. Well, my cat was in the Air Force. Why are there still students in my hallway? The bell rang, you are tardy, people. Oh my god. What? What is happening with your hair? I am so distracted by it. You cannot go in my classroom. Oh, thanks for noticing. You're the first person to say something. I got it done. Mm -mm, this is not a joke. I'm not sure why you came to school deliberately trying to disrupt the creative flow in my classroom. This is going to take away from your education and other students, and I won't have that. I mean, if the class is more interested in my hair color, I think that says something about your teaching. I'm sorry, I was so distracted by your hair, I could not tell what you were saying. See, this is the problem we're gonna keep running into today. I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do about it, but I really wanna go to class. How are you supposed to learn with blue hair? I want you to go into that bathroom, scrub your hair until it's gone. Okay, so let me just get in writing that you're confirming that I don't have to go to class today because this shit ain't coming out. That should be about a 25 minute wait. That's fine. Okay, wonderful. Can I get a name for your party of four? Sure, it's Christeth. Okay, I'll call you when your table's ready. Okay, we'll just be waiting over here. Great. All right. Uh, Nancy, party of two? Right here. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't call your party yet. It was for these folks over here. You guys can come with me. Odd. Okay, and Ryan, party of six. Your table's ready. Come on, they're calling us. Yes. Ma'am, once again, I will call your party when there's a table available. I thought you just indicated that there's a table ready. Well, I have a long list of people who are also waiting, so... And you said 25 minutes? Yeah, about 25 minutes. Well, just to make you aware, it's been 23. Okay, well, it may not be exactly 25 minutes, that's why- Okay, I need you to pause. So you're letting people go in front of us and you're not giving us accurate wait times? What is this? I'm just trying to get people seated. Can I get Chris, party of 10? Oh, yep, that's us. No, it's not, bitch. All right, I gotta go, I'll miss you, bye. Aw, are you her older sister? Oh, no, 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 that's my daughter. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, you just- Wow, you look like sisters, you're just so young. Do you mind me asking how old you are? Yeah, I'm 21. My goodness, you had her when you were 18? Yup. Oh my goodness. Well, I hope your parents are around to help. That's a lot of work for a young girl like you. No, they live in another state, actually. Oh, wow, bless your heart, no support. What about your husband, does he work? I don't have a husband. In fact, it's just me and her, and we're lucky to have each other, so. Oh, Lord have mercy. Well, I hope you're not doing anything crazy to get money. You are responsible for someone's life now, so. I appreciate the advice, although I did just graduate from college and I've been maintaining my job for over three years now, so. Great, and they're aware of your situation? I don't know, what's my situation? I mean, wait, your kid is the one that's always screaming at the guidance counselor that he hates his family, right? Hi, welcome to whatever donut shop this is. How can I help you? Hey, so I've never been here before. Do you have any recommendations? Of course, so a lot of people usually like to do a dozen or a half a dozen. <sighs> And my favorite are the sprinkle donuts. Hmm, okay, and how much are those? They're gonna be $1.13 each, but if, you if you're not ready to order, get out of line. Frequent customers are waiting. Ma'am, please be patient, okay? Anyway, do you know what you want? I'm just looking over everything, trying to decide what my husband would want. Sorry if I'm taking too long. Yeah, no problem, take your time. This is asinine. I have to go pick up my son who has a disability from his friend's house. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, ma'am, you're fine. <laughs> that lady's schedule is not your problem. I come here every single day. The least you could do is have my order ready and prioritize me. I've definitely never seen you before, and if I had, I still wouldn't be preparing food for you in advance. Watch yourself, I'm a PTA member. Excuse me, yeah, excuse me, you. Um, why are you sweeping and cleaning in front of my table? That's so disgusting. Oh, I'm sorry, I can move over here if you'd like. We just have to sweep the floor after the end of each shift. I don't know why you'd think this is a good idea to do right now. You're going to make me lose my appetite. I hear you, we just also have to make sure the restaurant stays clean throughout the day. I don't care, why are you arguing with me? I'm the customer here. If I say I don't like it, you don't do it. I'm sorry, but like I said, at the end of each shift, we- Carlin, I don't care if you have to stay here and wait for us to finish our meal all night. You're not sweeping in front of me. 
Hey Sarah, can you grab me the extra large garbage bags? There's a ton of trash at this table. I won't be paying for this meal. They haven't even made your meal yet, so just go. Hey ladies, saw you from across the bar and just wanted to bring you a couple drinks. Oh, um, th thank you very much. No problem, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> What's the matter? Uh, nothing, thank you. Come on, aren't you gonna take a drink? Not, uh, not right this second, no. <laughs> Something wrong? It's just that it was already open when you brought it to me, so I just don't feel comfortable drinking it. What? No, I just bought it from the bar. Yeah, no, I hear you, and I'm sure it's fine. I just would rather be safe than, you know, sorry. Sorry about what? Okay, it's nothing personal. It's just that you're not supposed to take open drinks from strangers at a bar. Oh, come on. Uh, it's not like that. I'm just trying to buy a girl a drink at a bar. Is that a crime? It's not. Just, I mean, I could go with you if you want to exchange the drink. It's just, I don't want this one. <laughs> well, that seems like a slap in the face. It shouldn't. I'm sorry, you feel that way. I mean, do you know how hard it is to put yourself out there and talk to a girl at a bar? I'm not going to risk my life for your ego. Do I look like the type of person that would do that? I don't know, because I don't know you. Well, see, that's the problem with you ladies. You think everyone's out to get you all the time. Mm-hmm. Freaking pathetic. Yeah, you seem like a real nice guy. Next in line for the vaccine. Hi there. So my friends told me to ask for the Pfizer. Can I get some of that, please? Well, you're in luck. That's the one I have. Okay, great. And I also heard that some of them have the government tracking devices, so I don't want any with that in it. Okay, good, because that's none of them. <coughs> Sweetheart, are you serious? Have you been on Facebook? Okay, so did you want the vaccine or what are we doing here? Well, of course I don't want it. It's being forced upon me. Kind of like jury duty. <laughs> Ma'am, if you don't want it, I don't have to give it to you. <laughs> Is that a trick so you people can tase me when I try to leave? <laughs> what? Oh, nothing. That's just a little stay-at-home mom humor. And I also want to get those uh, medicines that Donald Trump had. I heard those are good, too. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. We don't actually have access to that. Oh, whatever. All right, inject me with the government aids. Go ahead. There you go. Let's go ahead and schedule your second shot. I beat COVID! Oh, ma'am, please put your mask back on. We still have to- Oh, my friends tell me the second vaccine's a scam. Oh, do I hear movement? Good morning. Morning? It's the afternoon. I've been up for eight hours. Oh, sorry. I slept in late. I was up doing homework all night. You know, since you spend most of your day sleeping, your father and I feel like we never see you anymore. And how come you never go see your friend Bailey anymore? She was such a sweet girl and you guys always got along. I don't know, mom. We're just not friends anymore. Who cares? And your room is absolutely disgusting. Every time I walk down that hallway, it smells like skunk. Then don't come down the hallway. And what's going on with this outfit? Your hair's a mess. That shirt is disgusting. When was the last time you called grandma? I don't understand why you don't want to hang out with your family anymore. You don't understand why? Can you sit up and speak up? I'm just going back to bed. I have an order for Christina. Uh, what is this? That was a vanilla cold brew. That's not what I ordered. Really? Is your name Christina? No. Then I'm guessing... This isn't your drink then. Oh, well, I thought the orders come out here. Yeah, they do. You just have to wait for your name. Okay. I have an order for Steven. Oh, no, that's not mine. I have an order for Lucy. Did you say Miranda? No, I said Lucy. Oh, I think you may have just spelled my name wrong. Have a nice day, ma'am. No, that was her order. Yours is probably up next. Well, how do you know? Because I can see it on the screen. Well, then how come you didn't make it? I'm standing right here. Okay, I have an order for Miranda right here. Miranda, of a medium roast with cream and cinnamon. Miranda. <sighs> Ma'am, I believe this is your order. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. You and your children have to be wearing some type of foot protection at our water park. Wait, what? Why? It's for the safety of yourself and others. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, kids, put on shoes. And all students attending our school must wear their school uniform every day. Of course, understandable. Where can I pay? Do you have any idea why I stopped you today? No. Need to have your seatbelt on. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're right. Oh, sir, I'm sorry. Our guests are required to wear a jacket to eat here. Oh, whoops, I forgot mine in the car. I'll go get it. No problem. Oh, ma'am, I'm so sorry. Your dog actually has to be wearing a leash here. Oh, thanks for letting me know. I'm so sorry. Come here, Sharpe de Mayo. Hi, we just need you to put on your mask before you go inside. Uh, excuse me? You want me- <laughs> You want me to what? You have the audacity to tell me what to do with my body? Can I get a refill on this? Yep. Thank you. Also, I just wanted to say that I know it's really late. I know you guys have been working really hard all day. I saw those rude customers you had earlier. So thank you so much for just being awesome. I'm sure people don't tell you that enough. Yep, that's the food industry. 
Oh, I know. I just think you guys deserve a little extra compensation after today. How many people are working tonight? Um, there's six of us total. Okay, so here's 300. Just split it six ways. Wait, are you joking? You're tipping everyone $50? Oh my god, yeah, of course. You all deserve it. Oh my god. Thank you so much. No problem. Have a good night. Uh, yeah, you too. Oh my god. Hey, is everything still good up here? Yeah, no, everything's fine. Are you ready to close? You're a Pisces, aren't you? Uh, no, actually, I'm an Aries. Shut up. No, you're not. Okay. Where did you see that? I don't know. The internet, probably? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you're just not assertive enough. You don't have the personality of an Aries. Okay. You're a Pisces. You're really sensitive. Is that a nice thing to say to someone? Yeah, but don't worry. I'm a Cancer. I'm sensitive too. Cool. Well, did you want to get lunch? Girl, no. If you're an Aries, you and I cannot get lunch together. Why? Uh, because our personalities clash? Okay, I've known you for five years, and you just said I didn't have the personality of an Aries. I mean, I can't exactly argue with the stars, but there's always the chance that your mom lied to you about when your birthday is, because you're definitely a Pisces. I don't really care or know about this stuff. Oh my god, maybe you're a Libra. What does that mean? You're just so go with the flow. <laughs> What's your moon sign? Crescent? What? I, uh, excuse me, where's your bathroom? Over there. Great, thanks. But you can't use it unless you're buying something. Are you serious? I'll be really, really quick. Yeah, no, sorry. You can get something really cheap. Um, all right, I'll just take the pack of gum. Okay, it'll be 349. I'll do card. Oh, sorry, I can't run a card unless you're spending at least five dollars. Are you serious? I just have to go to the bathroom. There's an ATM over there. <sighs> Fine. But there is a seven dollar fee to withdraw money. Oh, come on! And you can only take out cash in increments of 20. So I would be spending 27 dollars so I can buy a pack of gum for three dollars so I can go to the bathroom. I mean, you could always go next door. They have a public bathroom. Oh, ha, good to know. Thank you. Whatever. So it looks like your card didn't go through. Do you mind running it again? I already put my card away. Can you just figure it out, please? Well, the issue is with your card, not the computer, so no. Um, it's not the card. I just used it at Sephora and it worked fine. Well, maybe it just had a weird error. So can you swipe it again, please? Oh my God, fine. Mm, yeah, for some reason, it's still not going through. Oh, well, that's not my problem. It's not mine either. Is there another card you could try? Nope. Okay, so now the issue is I don't have time for whatever issue you're having. I have to meet my daughter at the food court. Well, as of right now, you haven't actually purchased anything, so you can't take this with you. You're gonna punish me because you don't know how technology works. Listen, I've worked here a long time. And okay, so then why are you having so many issues? Because the fact that you're trying to buy something from me without money is an issue. Excuse me, I do have money. This is my husband's card. Well, he must have cut you off because you ain't got nothing on that card. How come every single time I pick a restaurant, you have to have a problem with Shut it? Shut up. No, yes, you do. E I every do single not. time. Well, yeah, because you pick the same crap every single time. No, I yes, don't. You do. Yes, you do. I, I always don't. tell you, I want spaghetti. Spaghetti, spaghetti, Ew. spaghetti. And you always make me have... Are you really going to say that to me right now? Are you kidding me? I'm not you kidding. You know my uncle died of a great spaghetti stroke. How are you going to say that? That's not a thing. thing. I was like, um, Olive Garden. I don't even care God. where we go at this point because I'm not eating around him. Good, I'll save money. No, You're embarrassing really me in front of my friend. You know what? Whatever, whatever. I'm just going to drive us all off a cliff. How does that Please happen? do. I hate you.